For this Alliance Live, we spoke with Cheryl, Senior Family Support Worker, and Sylvia, a youth panel member at Eczema Outreach Support, about their new animated resource. The animation, Eczema, More Than Itchy Skin, aims to help young people with eczema feel more supported and understood at secondary school. The animation was created with funding from the Self-Management Fund. Eczema Outreach Support is a UK-wide charity supporting children, young people and families with eczema. Cheryl, I'll start with you and the kind of the first question. And uh, can you tell me uh, why did uh, Eczema Outreach Support create the animation in the first place? Well, we had realised that um, there was really quite a gap in terms of resources for young people in the secondary school setting. Um, and actually, I can uh, recognition that there was a lack of awareness amongst secondary school staff um, about the condition. Um, you know, and you know, a lack of understanding of how it can impact on a young person's life. Um, and so we had lots of ideas of how we might um, tackle that. Um, but what we were really clear about was that we wanted to make a difference. We wanted to make a change to the lives of young people with eczema and their experience at school in particular. Um, and so the animation was... Um, an idea and it was really um, a vision of you know how can we make it as um, impactful um, accessible you know and you know fresh and new as something that could be shown in schools um, and we got quite creative as a team as to what that would look like and, and worked with an animator to to bring it to life. Can you catch eczema? Eczema is not contagious at all. It is caused by our DNA, environmental factors and the immune system, or a combination of those things. Treatments for eczema might not make it go away for good, but there are lots of things we can do to help control it. Because eczema is different for everyone, what works for one person may not work for the next. And Sylvia, from your point of view, you know, um, what was your reasons to, to come on board and, and sort of take part with with the animation and uh, provide your input for it? I'd say that um, the reason I sort of got involved was, uh, of course, I was sort of approached by Cheryl um, to take part, but I had quite a difficult uh, time at school, especially secondary school, because of my eczema. Um, and basically it was all down to um, the staff at my school just not understanding my condition and the huge impact that it was having in, on my life at that time. And so, you know, they didn't understand things like what triggers were um, for my flare-ups. They didn't really understand how my flare-ups kind of affected me, um, both physically and, you know, um, uh, mentally. Um, they didn't understand. And so, you know it was quite difficult to communicate with them what I needed because they just didn't understand what the issue was. Sleepless night, feeling tired, being late for school, finding it hard to concentrate, having itchy and sore skin, and thinking that no one understands are just some of the challenges that a young person with eczema can face. Eczema is more than itchy or dry skin. It can have a huge impact on a person's life affecting their self-esteem, stress levels, mood, feelings, relationships, self-image. And Cheryl, uh, from the project's perspective, why was it so important to involve Sylvia in the process and um, creating the animation? It's been really important from the, the offset to, to really involve the voice and experience of young people. Um, and having met um, Sylvia and her sharing her experience and and unfortunately this isn't you know just a one-off experience this is this is a shared experience amongst a lot of young people with eczema and across the UK and when we spoke and about it it felt so important to get these messages across of, a, of the personal experience and the challenges that a young person faces um because you know with the consultation process we we were hearing that, you know, is, is it just something you put a bit of cream on? It's something you grow out of. All the things that 
Sylvia and I spoke about and other young people would speak about is the frustration of that, you know, um, and as a charity, we really listened to um, the, the, the parents, the young people and um, their experience. So when we're creating anything, it's, it's so important to get that across. And just, you know, after, you know, having the, the animation sort of created, um, what was the sort of impact that you that you hoped it was it was going to have on the individuals? Really to make a change to the experience of, of young people in school and to really make a difference to the, the knowledge and understanding that school staff have about the condition, to really raise its profile in the secondary school setting and and not just amongst teaching staff but really importantly that the animation be shared amongst all staff all people engaging you know in a school environment anybody that's involved in you know the care um, of of young people and and helping them uh, reach their potential Having a better understanding of the condition, showing empathy, listening to young people, helping them to find solutions and communicating effectively can make all the difference. Everyone has an important part to play in creating a supportive environment in which a child or young person with eczema can thrive. And Sylvia, if I can move to you, why was um, creating this animation important to you? And, and sorry, and a secondary part to that, <clears throat> what impact did you hope it would have with, with your peers in helping them to um, support their condition? Um, it was important to me just because I'd had such a bad experience at school. And I knew that I, like Cheryl said, I was not the only one that was going to experience this. I wasn't the first and I wasn't going to be the last. And I just felt that this was going to be something that was really going to kind of change the way that um, teachers and staff at schools viewed eczema. Um, From my point of view, I think a lot of people have a kind of skewed view of what eczema is. I think they view it as something that's very minor that you get in your childhood and you slowly grow out of it. You know, I'm 21 now. I still have it. I go through a lot of treatment for it. It's not minor at all. And I think that's the message that I felt needed to be put across most Um, because I thought that you know once you get that message across the mindset starts to change and people become more willing to make changes and put things in place to support you and I remember having a conversation with Cheryl about how I, I was at school and I'd see people with different conditions like you know asthma or diabetes and stuff like that quite serious conditions as well but they were getting the support that they needed and things put in place to support them at school. Whereas I was sort of there with the eczema where no one kind of understood, so I wasn't getting that support. So I think the most important thing for me was that the mindset towards eczema was changed. Um, People understood it more, they were educated about it, and that that would hopefully help them to make changes to support students that they had with eczema. So, uh, Cheryl, um, can you tell us uh, how can people access the animation? How can they use it? How can they share it uh, more widely? The animation is is free and accessible, you know, through our um, website, the Exma Outreach Support website. You can find it there on our YouTube channel. And we really encourage people to share it far and wide. You know, um, it's really important to the the young people experiencing, you know, the challenges at secondary that we do that, that we really, you know, it's like a call to action. Please share it um, with on your own social media and um, let people know about it. Um, and that can be with young people, parents. 
We've also got um, continuous professional development for um, staff in secondary school. So as well as the animation, we've created um, supporting young people with eczema, a resource which is, is training for staff in the secondary school setting. And that's really the animation with training development for staff to really think about it, consider their own practice, consider, you know, their own classrooms and, and things that they might do better or differently. Um, it's also an opportunity for some really good practice um, to emerge as well. So we're really excited to be able to share that as well as the animation.